Indominus Rex versus T-Rex. Yes, yes, we've already seen the T-Rex versus Indominus Rex battle in Jurassic World. The T-Rex had his ass whooped until Blue the Raptor and Fishy the Mosasaur came along. But let's not forget that Rexy was 27 years old by this point. The average T-Rex lived only 30 years. So that's like being a 60 year old human versus a 25 year old boxer. And she was female. Yes, female T-Rexes were perhaps larger than the males, but were they as aggressive? I demand a rematch. Oh wait, I can make this happen with some help from you guys. The Indominus Rex versus an aggressive and healthy male Tyrannosaurus. Let's begin. For some stats, the Indominus Rex, height, six meters, length, Adults are over 15 meters. Weight, adults are eight to nine tons. Bite force, it has T-Rex DNA, so in the region of three to five tons. Speed, 50 kilometers per hour. Diet, anything and everything. Now onto the weapons of the Indominus Rex. The Indominus Rex was a very large and agile dinosaur, thanks to a combo of T-Rex and Raptor DNA. It possessed a fairly allosaurian body, built more for agility, not brute strength. It possessed 74 teeth and a powerful bite force. Its vision was similar to Tarbosaurus in that it was slightly binocular. It possessed a great sense of smell and the ability to camouflage. The Indominus Rex had large arms with elongated middle fingers. Tyrannosaurus Rex, height 3.5 meters at the hips, 6 meters at the head, Length, 12.3 meters, specimen Sue. Weight, six to eight tons average, but Sue could have been up to 14 metric tons. Bite force, six tons. Speed, 30 kilometers per hour. Diet, large and sometimes armored dinosaurs, like Triceratops. Okay, now onto the weapons of the T-Rex. The T-Rex possessed a powerful muscular body, especially the neck. People often make fun of T-Rex's tiny arms, but new research suggests that they could have been useful in battle and were in fact pretty damn strong. Tyrannosaurus had the strongest bite force of any land animal ever at around six tons and had over 60 20 centimeter teeth lining his 1.2 meter jaw. Using his bite force and teeth, Tyrannosaurus could have easily torn off over 60 kilograms of flesh in one bite. Okay, let's start with the advantages of Indominus Rex in this battle. The Indominus Rex is basically a T-Rex on steroids. She was larger and heavier. She possessed more functional arms. She could camouflage and also hide her heat signature, which means she could easily ambush the unsuspecting T-Rex. Thanks to Raptor DNA, she was likely more intelligent than the T-Rex. She possessed spikes and ridges on her back, resembling armor, which would protect against bites. Irex possessed 74 teeth, as opposed to the 60 teeth of T-Rex. Damn, it's not looking good. Or is it? Now onto the advantages of T-Rex. Crossing a T-Rex with any dinosaur would probably lead to a dip in bite force and agility. With giant forearms and a giant head, one could argue that the Irex would become very front heavy, and it lacked a tail long enough to properly counterbalance it. We might scoff at T-Rex's tiny arms, but they do have a purpose, primarily to allow for a larger and heavier head, without sacrificing the agility needed to keep up with Ornithischian prey. The giant arms of Indominus would be more of a hindrance than an advantage, preventing it from turning fast enough to keep up with T-Rex. The small arms also allow for more space on the sides and shoulders of T-Rex for neck and jaw muscles, giving it a much more powerful bite and shake. The long and thin claws of Indominus Rex look menacing, but claws good for killing need to be more hooked and thicker. So the giant arms of Indominus damage both its agility and its killing power. Well, that pretty much covers it. Let's fight. The Indominus Rex and T-Rex meet at an abandoned warehouse in Jurassic World. The Indominus Rex will kill anything in sight. As she's trying to figure her place on the food chain. She charges at the T-Rex. She grabs T-Rex by the neck and tries to push him to the ground, but T-Rex breaks free and bites her neck. Irex grabs T-Rex by the face and bites his back. T-Rex breaks free and bites Irex, breaking several teeth in the process. Irex stumbles and T-Rex charges again, this time biting one of Irex's arms clean off. Irex has suffered heavy blood loss and retreats, and soon after, dies. Verdict. Well, according to Hollywood, Irex should win every time. 
but we looked at the anatomy of Irex, and if such a dinosaur did indeed exist, the spike force would have been less than T-Rex's, as well as it being less agile in general. Its long arms, while functional and good for grasping prey, wouldn't have done much besides maybe a few scratches. I'm gonna give this 60% to the real king. You knew it was coming, come on, you knew. If you have any ideas for a dinosaur themed video, please let me know in the comments below and I might make it. Until next time, thank you for watching Megatop 10s.